Trained to protect, court security officers often find themselves in potentially dangerous situations, but say they are sometimes under-equipped for the task. So we wanted to learn more about their jobs and training, especially after yesterday's shooting in Bell County at a judicial center. They told WIMP's Haley Minogue keeping equipment current can be a struggle. Their training is extensive. Firearms training, you go over tact tactical maneuvers, uh, how to compose yourself, how to control the courtroom in case situations do occur, uh, how to position people just in case you have a high profile case that comes in. But sometimes it's not enough. Any training you do, uh, you always feel like you could do more. Uh, the, there is a state statute that dictates 80 hours of training. Uh, and nothing I do or say is going to change that unless you change the law. Taking a closer look at some of the security systems across the region raised concerns for some officers. They talked about theirs, how they had two or three entrances and exits, and that didn't have the equipment to cover some of them, and it just, it, it would be crazy. Although sometimes the equipment might be outdated, officers tell us if they do their jobs correctly, their safety should not be in question. In my opinion, we have sufficient equipment to do what we need to do. Some of it does need to be upgraded, but we can do our job properly with what we have. In many situations, it is the sheriff's decision how many court security officers are on staff. In Perry County, Haley Minogue, WYMT Mountain News. And Haley was able to contact 23 Kentucky counties in our coverage area to ask if they had metal detectors that their court security guards used. 16 counties had them, but seven did not. Summer